Hello, thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel paper from 2019. This is the higher tier paper and it's uh, this is question 17. It's a question about ratios and quadratic equations. So first of all, we're given the x squared in, um, in a ratio to 3x plus 5 is the same as the ratio of 1 to 2. So the first thing that we can do is write them both as fractions. We can say that x squared over 3x plus 5 is equal to 1 over 2. And our next job is to basically get the, uh, the expressions out of the denominator onto the top line. Uh, we can do this with the 3x plus 5 by multiplying both sides of this equation by 3x plus 5. So if I do that, 3x plus 5 there, and because we have to do the same thing to both sides of the equation, we've also got to do it there, 3x plus 5. And what will happen is the 3x plus 5 there cancels with the 3x plus 5 on the bottom, leaving us with just x squared on the left. And we've got 3x plus 5 over 2 on the right. And it's handy for us now to get rid of the 2 on the bottom there on the right hand side, which we can do by times in both sides by 2. Remembering that what we need to do to balance an equation is always to do the same thing to both sides. So the 2 will cancel there, and it will give us 2x squared equals 3x plus 5. Now this is a quadratic equation, and the first thing that we need to do really is to try and get everything over to one side of the equals and make it equal to zero. So we can do that by taking away 3x and 5 from this side, and we'll end up with 2x squared, take away 3x plus, uh, sorry, let me just scratch that. That's going to be minus 5, and it's all going to be equal to 0. So notice how the signs changed over from plus to minus when we took things over to the left hand side of the equation there. So if we swap sides, the signs will change. Now we've got an equation to solve and we want to try and factorize this. So we're going to attempt to put it into two brackets, but because this is a harder quadratic equation, there's a method we can use to try and solve it. Um, what we do, we're looking for a number which has a product which we can get from two times minus 5. So if we do that, 2 times minus 5 would give us minus 10. So we're looking for a number which has, a, or two numbers which have a product of minus 10, and they must add up to the middle term of the quadratic. So they've got to have a sum which is equal to negative 3. So this is a little bit of trial and error to think of two numbers which would do that. But if you think about it, if we have minus 5 and positive 2, they would add to make negative 3, and they would also multiply to give us the negative 10 times them together. Um, so we split this middle term, this 3x, into these two parts. So we can say, well, 2x squared. Now, this 3x I'm going to write as being plus 2x and then minus 5x. So that's our middle term there, the negative 3x. We've actually said it can be written as being plus 2x take away 5x. OK, so we split this into two halves. And then we've also got the negative 5 at the end. That all equals 0. And what we do, we factorise the first half. So we can see that there's a common factor of 2x there. We take out 2x and open up a bracket. And we would need an x at the front of this bracket here. And we just need a plus 1. 
because 2x times the x would give us 2x squared and 2x times the 1 would give us the 2x there. If we try and now factorise the second half of the bracket, it's um, we can take out a negative 5 because if we open up a bracket there, we can see that we'd have to multiply negative 5 by x to give us the negative 5x and we'd have to times negative 5 by 1 to give us the negative 5. So the next thing we do, we bring the factors in the front of the brackets there and put them into one bracket on its own. So we say that that would be a bracket with 2x take away 5 and then the second bracket we're going to have is from this bracket and this bracket, which we can see is a repeated bracket. So x plus 1. That equals 0. So what we've done there, we've factorised this equation here, this quadratic equation, uh, and put it into two brackets. Now it's in this form, we can solve it because we've got two choices. If two things multiply to make uh, zero, then either the first of those things has got to be zero or the second of those things has got to be zero. So we've got two choices. 2x take away 5 equals zero. Or the other one would be that the x plus 1 must equal zero. And if we've got two mini equations there, which we can solve. So from the first one, we've got 2x. If we add 5 to both sides, we'd end up with 2x equals 5, which then if we divide both sides by 2, we end up with x equals 5 over 2, which is 2.5 if we want to express it as a decimal. If we look at the other one, we've got x plus 1 equals 0. So that's quite easy. We could just take away 1 from both sides and we could see that x would be equal to minus 1. So there are my two answers. I've got either x is equal to 2.5 or x is equal to minus 1. And we've done it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, we'd love it if you would like our uh, video and subscribe to our channel. And for more help, have a look at our um, website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.